you return back to him. It's not before me. It's war time. We are it's gods on this time. earth. We are gods, Joseph. Keep the blood. Yeah, it's war time. Calling all Jews. Blood in your veins. Yeah. It's the same that was in Christ's veins. Words you say that don't matter. It's not me. Watchmen to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Shalom. Welcome to Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yuanathan. And on my left, Officer Kalaya. And on my right, Officer Aton. And our great reader today. He got turn, Officer Yana. He turn the mic on. He's Officer the last. Yana. He's the last yeah, Gadite. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bruh. He's the last Gadite. And he's last with his mic. <laughs> oh, praise. Good to have the brother on the show. Good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Hey, today's show is called The Sin Within the Black Community. We got to deal with the sin that's within our communities because before we can even deal with the sin that's coming from our enemies, must first got to deal with each other. That's right. So, hey, let's get Romans 15 and 4. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Bring it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. And I'm going to tell you, when you've got sin within your community and we killing each other and not having all the things that's happening, selling drugs to one another, we need all the teaching that we can get. Read it again. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. When we need these scriptures to have hope to make it in this world. Because the things that's going on in our community is terrible. Yeah, man. We are hopeless people. We are hopeless people. Hey, give me uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Because I know what our people are saying. Through Christ, we can do all things. And you know what? You're right. But there's a way that we got to follow Christ. Read that. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Read it out. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. So Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example. What? That ye shall follow his steps. So we should be able to follow Christ's steps. We're going to call ourselves followers of Christ. We're going to have to That's follow right. his steps. We're going to have to research this Bible to find out what did Christ do. Read. Who did no sin. He did what? Who did no sin. So to be a follower of Christ, you've got to strive to not commit sin. Not say that the laws are done away with, but to not commit sin. Read. Neither was guile found in his mouth. So he didn't complain when tribulations and problems came on him. Hey, that's what our people do the most. Complain, speak against others, mm -hmm. speak evil of each other. They speak evil against these instructions in this Bible. Right. right. Speak evil against God. Right. And then mess around and then start killing each other and yeah. then think everything's all good. Right. That's what happens in our communities, and it, it will kill each other. Before look, in our community, the white man can jog straight through that mug. Mm. But if another person that ain't from the same neighborhood get his block blown off, all because he need he finna ask for directions because he lost. What you doing over here now? They finna rob him and kill him and take everything. But the white man can jog through there every day just for a workout, and everybody stay on the porch and won't do nothing. Who does that? Mm. Read that next verse. Verse twenty-three. Who? When he was reviled, reviled not. So when again. they came up against Christ, you know what? He held his peace. Read. When he suffered, he threatened not. Because he could have called his angels down and wiped everybody out. But he knew he, he came to suffer for us. That we through him, we might have a chance to enter into the kingdom. Read. But committed himself to him that judgeth righteous. He committed himself. And that's a, that's a word that we as a black community, we don't do. We don't commit ourselves to doing things that's righteous. We don't commit ourselves to following this Bible, and we don't commit ourselves to actually fixing our community. We talk a good game, but when it comes time for commitment and making things happen, 
Our people are nowhere to be found. Our people are committed to evil. Right. That's what they committed to. They, they, they committed to getting paid on Friday and hitting the club on Saturday. Right. right. They the committed, hell is look, this? They committed to standing on a corner and killing everybody in their neighborhood. Mm. They commit to that. They'll do that like clockwork. And, you know, the one thing that they don't understand is our enemies are committed to keeping us at the bottom. Right. Right. <laughs> they are committed. Right. They are on one accord. And then all the nations are on one accord. That's why we're still at the bottom and we don't recognize that they are actually planning our destruction. Hey, I don't even want to say the word, but you know, them little things we getting stuck in our arm so we can keep a job, yeah. that's committed to your destruction. If we say the word, they're going to shut you down. They'll shut the videos down. Yeah. Right. But, and what's crazy, what's crazy is our people, we never really, our people don't look at what's going on in their neighborhood and really question the condition of the neighborhood. Like, they don't own none of the stores. They don't own the property. Don't own, don't own anything. But the sin that we're caught up in in our communities, the different uh, uh, atrocities that we're bringing upon each other, in our community is a design process that's set up by the oppressor like you bringing out. But we never look into, why, how come all the stores are owned by Arabs? Right. Why, why, you know, not only do they own all the stores, but they own all the properties that your home sits on. They, look, they own everything. They own you. Then, then we'll turn around and say this is my corner. Right. When section when uh uh you own public housing, the housing authority owns that, but you want to kill everybody over this one corner. And what the hell is this? But you know, give me uh Hosea four and six. The reason why our enemies can do these things, the reason why we can do this to each other, is for one simple reason. We lack the knowledge of God. You got it? Yes, sir. Read that. Hosea chapter four, verse six. Read My people or destroyed for lack of knowledge. Imagine that the children of God is destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And keep in mind, the very first scripture we read was this Bible was given for instructions. So we was given the instructions on righteousness. We was given the instructions on how to rule this earth, how to rule these nations. And somehow that instruction wasn't good enough. We started wanting to do what? Lean to our own understanding. Stop following the most high God that made us, that gave us this power to rule this earth. We said, you know what? That's not good. We want to do our own thing. We wanted to meddle in sin. Right. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. We did what? We, thou hast rejected knowledge. I, and you know how it's so easy to believe this Bible? Because we go out here every single week and we go out to teach our people and we give them the knowledge. And 99% of the people that walk by reject this knowledge. Come on right. now, dog. And they say they love God. That Christ is in their heart. And we actually will read them the words of Christ. We'll give them the words of God. Ooh. And they let it go right through their ear. And right on. And they keep on moving. Because why? They are too busy to hear the word of God. They're too busy in their own world. Our people could care less about the things that's happening around them. But we got to fight this fight for what? So we can get back into the kingdom. That's Which, right. Read. I will also reject thee. So the Most High God rejected us because we refused his instructions. We said, you know what? I'm not just going to do it. I don't care what that Bible say. You know what? We have a choice. And they don't understand the choice is either life or death. That's the choice. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Uh-huh. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What did we forget? Forgotten the law of thy God. We've forgotten the law of thy God. This Bible is the book of the law. Everyone has it in their home. Every single Sunday, you're in church, and everyone got their Bible and don't realize that this is a book of laws, a book of laws, a book of, a book of instructions on how we should live. And yet, 
we'll turn away from it and be caught up in all midst of sin and don't realize that the sin that we're in is the reason why we're at the bottom. Is that the end of that verse? No, sir. Read. I will also forget thy children. He's going to do what? I will also forget thy children. He said he was going to forget our children. You know what? We got a, we got a story that came out. Uh, uh, what, what city was this? It's in, Chicago. Was, uh, Chicago. It's in Chicago. Chicago. We're not surprised. Yeah. Chicago, I guarantee you right now, is the murder capital of America. There's more crime going on every single week, more shootings than any city we have in America right now. What the hell is this? And that's our people. And this story here of what this mother did to her 12-year-old son is just an example of what's going on in the black community. Let's read that story. Mother in Chicago accused of shooting dead her own son over missing memory card. But that title is madness. Like I've, like I've read this title like over 20 times. And you still can't, for one, you can't believe that anybody would die over a memory card. Better yet, a mother shoot her own son <laughs> over a memory card. A Come memory on card now. to memory a card. camera, man. Come man. on, man. You would think that was a gold memory card. <laughs> Platinum, diamonds. Man. It's just a piece of plastic. Go, go ahead. Just, read, read, some more, read that, uh, that I'm next I'm lost line. for words. They, I don't even know what to say. Who does that? Our people. Felon Harris allegedly shot her 12-year-old son after he failed to retrieve a lost memory card. Scroll down. Yeah. Look at that little boy, man. Yeah, right. Look at that. Look, look at this. Look at this. He don't even look 12. <laughs> he don't look 12. The hell he looks like this? he's about six or seven. There might be a younger picture of him, though. But still, that is, that is crazy. Yeah, read that thing. A mother in Chicago has been charged with murder after she allegedly shot her 12-year-old son multiple times over a missing memory card. He wasn't shot in the drive-by shooting. He wasn't shot by right, the He wasn't enemy. no straight bullet or nothing. He was shot by the one person that he loved the most. <laughs> right. His mother. Right here. Damn. Philon Harris, 37, has been accused of shooting her son Caden Ingram, an incident that was partly captured on security cameras inside their South Chicago home on Saturday morning, reported news channel WLS-TV. This woman actually had security cameras. In the house. To protect the house. And, and then got caught on camera doing it. She, no, she, she got caught her son. Instead of protecting her, using the camera to protect the house, she in the house killing her own children. Right. What? Dang. Read. Speaking after her arrest on Sunday, prosecutors said Ms. Harris had conf conf confronted her son about a secure digital SD memory card which had gone missing. Footage shows Ms. Harris pointing a gun at her son and demanding the memory card. Prosecutors said Ms. Harris allegedly shot Caden, injuring him when he failed to produce the card. Cause what the hell? What did so I just read? So this man say, I don't, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> right. It ain't and my card. It's, it's your card. Like, Could you imagine? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what you did with your card. Could you imagine this 12-year-old boy standing in front of his mama and she got a gun to him? Nah, my, bro. Could you Come imagine on, nah, what dog. this little boy was thinking? Mm. Not only did she have a gun, but when she pulled the trigger. Man. Hey. This is crazy. Read. Cook County State's attorney Eugene Wood said audio evidence revealed the boy was conscious and crying after the first shot. So he didn't die when she shot him the first time. Read on. The first shot was not captured on video, but on audio, according to prosecutors. Miss Harris then took a phone call as her son lay injured on the kitchen floor and returned again Demanding the hold memory card. Up, right. Hold up, hold Man. up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop it. Wait Get a minute. Help. So she shoots the boy. Yeah, hold phone on. rings. Hold on. Answer the phone. Take a phone call. Yeah. Son on the ground. Shot. Crying. Crying. Hang the phone up and then go back. Where the memory card at? Run Listen. me the memory Listen. card. Listen. The black woman is an astonishment more than ever in 2021. 
Let me be real, man. Some people, hey, some people just don't deserve children. Nah, bro. That don't make no sense. She hey. she shot the man like a like she shot her child like a dog. Turn around and, and answer then the phone. You on the phone talking about some. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Planning on whatever plan she doing or whoever she talking about. She got to be and crazy. Then, she wasn't in her right mind, man. She crazy. Look, ain't none of, hey, most of our people ain't in their right mind. But that right there is something else. I don't even know what that is. You got a scripture? Yeah. Bring that thing out. Hey, we go, oh, get, get uh, Lamentations. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 3. Lamentations chapter 4. Oh, hey, read, 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 read verse 1 real quick. Sir, Lamentations chapter four, verse one. Bring it How out. is the gold become dim? You do realize that's what the children of Israel are. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the gold. That's right. We are the gold, the apple of the Most High's eye. We are the gold. It says, "How is that gold become dim?" Read on. How is the most fine gold changed? How is that fine gold changed? Read. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. Now we are in the top of every street gone mad. Our mind is, is jacked the hell up. We got our sisters out here killing their own children. Now this is just one incident. But there are many different forms of, of the black woman killing their children in today's time. Right. Jump down to verse 3. Verse 3. Even the sea monsters. So God is making a comparison of the woman to a sea monster. Read. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Uh-huh. They give suck to their young ones. Most I say the, the, the sea monsters give suck to their young ones. Come on. The daughter of my people is become cruel. He says the daughter of my people, you daughters of Zion, you precious daughters of Sarah, you have become cruel. Read. You mean. Like, they cruel. She, they just mean and nasty. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look to their own kids. Their own children, bro. That's just ridiculous. Read it again. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Come on. They give suck to their young they ones. They give suck to their, to their young ones. We. The daughter of my people is become cruel. You are cruel. Mean, like the brother said. Come on. Like the ostriches. Like ostriches. Mm, mm, mm. You ever get in an argument with them? First thing they say is, mm, 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 Trying to pick their little twisty mm, lips up. Mm, mm, moving their head long, like this. Long, hey. crazy looking eyelashes. Most I know what he created. He know what he made. He's, read that again. Read that bottom part again. They are like, what? Like the ostriches in the wilderness. God says you're like ostriches in the wilderness. Hey, pull up that picture of an ostrich. Look at, look at this. <laughs> This is hey, the black images. woman today. Yeah, In fact, the mother looks like this damn no, ostrich come, right no, here. No, come down, uh, go go over to the to the right, to the right, that one right there. No, no, no go on, right in the middle, in the middle, yeah, that right there. Me. Yeah, there that right go. there, right there. Pull up the picture of that sister. Yeah, zoom in. Pull up the picture of the sister in that mug shot. Let's see if this comparison is right. Do they got a picture of the sister in the, in the little um thing? Is she down there? I did see um, a, a yeah, picture check, of her in another article. Yeah, check the art, check the actual article. It's her son and her. A picture of her and her son side by side. Unbelievable. She a damn ostrich. Anyway, read that. Read that verse one right. more time. Bring that thing out. Lamentations chapter four verse three. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young so ones. So this scripture is saying that the sea monsters, you know, they take care of their children. They make sure right. they have food. They make sure they have food. They're going to they, they gonna give their life for their children. Even the sea monster does that. Read. The daughter of my people is become cruel. The daughters of our people kill their children now. They leave, hey, they'll leave them in the home. They'll leave them in the car. Our people are, are killing their children. They'll take them away from their father. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they use them as, as a paycheck. The women of our children are come cruel. Yeah. They're not teaching them. About God, so our children are growing up and becoming little gangbangers, little devils, all because of the women that wanted the children, who kept the children from the men. They sitting there letting them become monsters. They letting them become feminine. Our little boys becoming feminine, right in the midst of all their enemies. Yeah, go read. Oh my bad. Go ahead. There it is. Yeah, she that ostrich. Wow. There it is. Put that picture right there beside that damn ostrich, and let's see if God knows what he's talking about. 
We we ain't making this up, is we? Is no, we making no, this up? No. Okay. There you go. Boom. She even making the Bruh. face like the ostrich. Hey, what's that one in Job? Yeah, Job, Job. Job 39, 39 and, and 13. verse 13. You got that off? Yeah, burn that out. Burn yes, that out, Satan. All right, I got it. Say verse 15. Yeah, 13. 13. 13. 13. Job chapter 39, verse 13. Bring it out. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks? No. Uh-huh. Or wings and feathers unto the ostrich? So here we go. We talking about that ostrich. Now read on. Which leaveth her eggs in the earth uh -huh. and warmeth them in dust. So imagine you got an ostrich. She she put the eggs in the earth and and keep the keep the egg warm so they mm -hmm. can be hatched, right? That's what she got them there to incubate them, to actually make sure that nothing happens to the baby. But then this right here, what happens? Read. And forgetteth that the foot may crush them. Uh-huh. Or that the wild beast may break them. God is comparing our people. To this right here so the woman would carry the baby for nine months have the baby then when they have the baby forget the baby even nurse read on she is hardened against her young one that's why she'll she shoot him that's why she would shoot him one time then get on the telephone then go back and ask for the same memory card while the baby sitting there hollering and crying you think he gonna tell you what it done? even if he knew you think he gonna tell you now he hurt he hurt bro but you shoot the man or the little boy. He ain't a man. You kill your son, and then tell, and then you report back to family members that the, that he didn't. He still didn't produce the memory card. Come on now, dog. Read on. As she hardened against, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Because that's how our women treat the children, like they not theirs. Read. Her labor is in vain without fear. Because she has no fear of God. None whatsoever, so she'll turn around and kill, her, kill, your, kill their own kids for no reason. Read. Because God hath deprived her of wisdom. Read on. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. God has jacked our people up mm. because we have decided to go against him. Now our women will shoot their sons and then act like nothing's wrong. Hey, this is a major sin. How, I still don't need <laughs> this, this is too can't, major. Can't fathom what the heck that is. I, I don't. I can't even imagine like, a mother what the doing hell? that. What did I just read? This that? Like I said, you can't imagine somebody dying over a memory card for one. But better yet, a mother shoot her own son. Kill her own son over a memory card. It is that the bottom part of verse sixteen. Again, it says her labor is in vain. This woman went through nine months <laughs> for nothing of carrying a prince in her womb that she did not regard as a prince. She went through nine months of hard labor to bring forth this child to shoot him down. <laughs> you know, and this goes right back to these curses that we've been under. Yep. For always sinning, breaking God's laws. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. To show you that this would happen is a curse from the Most High God that would happen to our women and to our children. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. Read it out. The tender and delicate woman among you. Well, our women used to be tender and delicate. Now they mean cruel. Read. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Well, they used to didn't even have to walk. They used to get carried. They were so tender. They, they can't I, I think don't that. even know what delicate is right, right. now. They have no idea. <laughs> Big barefoot walking around half naked. Read. Her eye shall be evil toward her husband. Her eye going to be what? Evil toward the husband. Guess what? They can't stand their baby daddies. They put them on child support. They kick them out the house. They got, they got a side dude. Look, some women actually get pregnant to have a baby daddy to pay them child support so they right. don't have to work. I, I want, I, I, a child right now is a new ATM card. There you go. Bro, when I was Dang. in high school, they were getting when I, the, the, <laughs> the sisters in school, when, when I was in school, they were getting pregnant to get Section 8. Yeah. This was years ago. Yeah, and yeah. in order to get Section 8, you have to put that man on child support. Right. Yeah, they what? were getting pregnant trying to have kids so they can get their own apartment. Yeah, yes. yeah. The Caucasian children, you know, people bugged out, bro. When they they go to school and study and think about going to college and making a career, 
our women think about getting an old boy down the street and having a child. Yeah. And that's Bruh. that's they that's their fallback plan. They got a child, they got section eight, they good. That's how far we've fallen as a people, Dang, man. Right. And this goes all the that's way back to the sin, the sin that's in the community. Like the conditions, <laughs> our conditions are so low. And and, and and the circumstances surrounding our conditions are so heavy, we got a plethora of different sins that, uh, that our people are meddling in, trying to fix or be comfortable in the, the oppressed state of oppression that yeah. we're in. This thing is this 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 thing is beyond heavy, man. Hey, read that again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. And who else? And toward her son. And, and towards her what? And toward her son. That's what. That's easy to see throughout every neighborhood in America. In every ghetto in America, you can see the little young black boy now walking around thinking they thugs. Straight up, you got ten year olds, eleven year olds carrying guns. And, and what does the mama say? Just like your dang old daddy. Just like your daddy. Just like your I can't stand you. Look just like your daddy. That's probably the reason why she killed him. She probably hey had flashbacks of her baby daddy. If that, she, if that actually came out, I think the sister was married. Shocking. I think the sister was married and, and had a husband. Let me, let me read oh, down in that man. article. Yeah, I think she oh, had to tell. Man. She had, they had to break the news to her husband or something like that. Let me read, because we ain't read all the way down, but hey, go ahead with that script. I'm going to read it. Dang. And finish that verse out. And toward her son and toward her daughter. So she's just evil towards her children, period. Toward her husband and her children. Now, we got this photo back up. Yeah. Bro. And if I ain't mistaken, that's her twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> hey, Got look at the him. lips. Oh man! Look at the eyes. Look at the squint. They, hey, they, they both squint. Look at it. My Come on, and my look at the is, hair. My thing Come is, cause on, they, I, 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 don't, I don't know if that's a mugshot, <laughs> but they, they put her up there looking all sad and pitiful. Man, what look you at pitiful him. for? You just killed your son. What is you Stop so it. sad about? Get some help. You should have thought about being bad. sad before you did all of that. This is bad. Hey, hey, go back to the article, right? And stroll down and read where it says, we're going to read where it says, Harris revealed to her two family members. Yeah, that, Back to the article. Man. Oh, man. This thing right here is crazy. Y'all ain't get rid of the article, did you? <laughs> IT, come on now, dog. <laughs> We get like captains of car. We're gonna fly somebody hey, why in. Why we why we waiting on him? Why we waiting on him? Go to go to uh verse 28. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Bring that out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. This is madness. That article of what that sister did to her son, that is madness. Read madness. Read on. And blindness. Uh-huh. And astonishment of heart. There you go. Crazy. Right. Absolutely crazy. Astonishment of heart. She crazy. To do this right here, you cannot be in your right mind. So when it say astonishment of heart, it is talking about your mind. <laughs> Just imagine what that child been going through his whole life. Right. They didn't tell him how much abuse that man went right. through. And our people think they do these things in their house, and they think this ain't going to be revealed. Yeah. You cannot hide from the Most High God the wickedness that you do. No, scroll fact, back up, some scroll. Oh, you want me to no, jump down, some right, Oz? Yeah. Okay, um, right there, right there, right there with Miss Harris. We got two different articles. Wait, read that though. Miss Harris admitted to two family members over the phone that she had shot her son as he had not returned the memory card. Prosecutor said, and the family members alerted the police. The, mo the mother also admitted to shooting her son to investigators, they say. Now, hold on. I'm going to show you something. My thing is, is the family members the ones asking for the memory card? Something is wrong here. I'm going to show you something, too, in, the, in, in, in that <laughs> article. Because there's a couple of articles. This article right here says, Harris revealed to two family members over the phone that she had shot her son because he refused to... Uh, let me jump. 
because he refused to return the SD card, authorities claim. The family member then phoned police and Harris's husband. So Dang. he she had a husband. Man, what? imagine coming home and your wife, imagine getting a phone call, your wife telling you, I just shot I just, and killed I our shot son. The baby. Cause he wouldn't give me the he wouldn't find or couldn't find my SD card. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. God, though, man. That's- hey. It said she was just struggling with uh, displaying paranoid behavior. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what? That paranoid behavior fits the scripture. Read that scripture again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Read it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Paranoid behavior. Read. And blindness. Uh-huh. And astonishment of heart. Why? Because we sinned against the Most High God. With that, we're going to take a break. Shalom. Welcome back to Wartime Radio, WPJM 800. My name is Officer Yuanathan. We're going to jump right back into, hey, some scriptures this time. Well, matter of fact, let's bring out another article. Because, you know, we, we don't want you to think that it's only the women that's out here acting a fool. No, they ain't the only ones crazy. Let's read this article right here. South, South Carolina man fatally shot. While helping his best friend's mom move out of apartment, authorities say. You know, I already hate moving. You know, hey, hey, you that's one of the worst help. things. Hey, you, you, know you want all the help you can get when it's time to move. <laughs> right. Imagine right. you going to help somebody move, and then here come the crazy man. Dang. <laughs> you, helping your, you helping your best friend's mama. You know, hey, you love your best friend. You know you're going to love his mama. Hey, that's family to you. Right, that's family. That's right. family right there. Let's see what happened with helping your family. <laughs> Read. Authorities searching for Curtis Hicks in connection with shooting death of D'Angelo Jamal Perry. Columbia, South Carolina. A 20-year-old man was shot and killed while helping his best friend's mom, mother move out of an apartment. According to the Richland County coroner's office. Richland County deputies said 39-year-old Curtis Hicks has been dating the woman and it came to her apartment complex in Columbia around 10 a.m. Saturday. Authorities said Hicks shot the woman's son and his friend, D'Angelo Jamal Perry. The son remains in the hospital. Richland County coroner Gary Watts said Perry died from a gunshot to the chest. Deputy said in a release that Hicks is wanted for murder and attempted murder. He has not been arrested. Hicks was, Hicks was last seen driving a black Toyota Camry with the South Carolina license plate tag NFS 273. So we got another example of black on black crime, all because we don't understand the laws and commandments. Yeah, because even at the last part, say, look, Debbie said the woman moving out had just ended a relationship. So the best friend gets shot because he was helping helping this this his, woman, his helping his friend's, friend's mother. mama. Somebody he had nothing to do with the whole situation. Obviously, she's old enough to be his mama. Right. And this man came jealous, full of rage, and killed this young boy. Took his the hell is this? Unbelievable. That, that, that is yeah. crazy. Right, <laughs> but, crazy. but give you me Hosea four and one. You can't, you cannot make this stuff here up, man. Hey, that's why you better prove who y'all dealing with. It's some crazy stuff, right? It is, it's crazy. Look, even even those of us in the truth, you better prove who you dealing with. Because some people, everybody in truth ain't right. Everybody and you might be messing around with somebody like this right here. In the beginning, you're getting the representative. 
You know, you're not, you, you're not, you don't really get the, the true person in, until later on down the line. You got to learn that person. Read that verse. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Read it Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. That's you so-called blacks, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanics. You are the children of Israel. Read. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Uh-huh. Because... There is no truth. That means there's no laws. When it says there's no truth, there's no laws that we're keeping. That love thy brother as thyself, we can tell that that did not ha happen here. He didn't have love for those two young men. He didn't have love for the woman that he claimed he loved. What did he think he was going to do? I'm going to kill somebody for coming to see my woman, and now I'm going to spend the rest of my life looking at men. Bruh. That, that's our people, the idiotic of our people, the things that we do in our wickedness. Yeah, but at the same time, because they out here, you, you they're not our people not getting married, you leave room for this crap to happen. Right. Because you're sleeping around person to person. You don't know who you fooling with until stuff hit the fan and now people fall out dead now. Right. Because there's laws, there's commandments on proving someone. <laughs> Guess what? The majority of the time, the only thing our people try to prove is, hey, he got some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. He got a job. <laughs> they don't care what? nothing about how crazy that dude right. is. Right. <laughs> or how crazy she right, well, is. How crazy she is, too. So right. It's crazy. Read. Because there is no truth. Uh huh. Nor mercy. No what? Nor mercy. This man had no mercy for these two young men. He tried to kill both of them. Read. Nor knowledge of God in the land. If we had knowledge of God in the land, we would know the judgment that's going to come on our people for the wickedness. Read. By swearing uh -huh. and lying and killing. By in what? And killing. That's what sin does. It brings all these things. Swearing, lying, and killing. Read. And stealing. Uh-huh. And committing adultery. That's what he thought she was doing, committing adultery. Yeah. But they were probably in the midst of fornication. They weren't married. Right. Read. They break out and blood touches blood. Yeah, black on black now crime. Yeah, black on black. Brother kill his, kill 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 another black man over some nonsense over some woman. Right. And you know these are all the things that happen with sin. Yep. Right, right. in our communities. Because we got to understand that you know, hey, if we got all this sin, all these things are going on. The most High is telling you I, he got a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Imagine when your mama or your daddy told you I got a problem with you, uh, what you doing. You know this is some punishment finna come. Mm -hmm. You gonna have to pay for that. And God said he has a problem with us. And you know the first time he had a problem, we was on a boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never seen that. Right. And we, <laughs> and we act like that didn't happen for a reason. Right. We sit here. That's why we walk around destroyed. We don't even know why it even happened to us. Mm. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin. For the payment for committing sin. Is death. Is what? Is death. That's what's going on in our community. Yeah. Right. Hey, uh, let me land back off here real quick. Give me Isaiah chapter 1, uh, verse 18. Because what you was breaking out in Hosea is, uh, is, is, is perfect. For, in, in fact, go back to where you was at in Hosea because I wanted a verse. I wanted a verse down because we're going into the crime that's being committed into in our, in our communities and the black on black crime, the things that are, are happening between us as a people. But before we jump to Isaiah, read verse three in uh, Hosea, chapter four. Hosea chapter four, verse three. Therefore shall the land mourn. It says, "Therefore shall the land mourn." Well, who's on the land? It's our people that's in the land. The land is going to mourn. Not just the people, but yes, the the land, the land is in mourning too. But in reference to what is being uh, uh, spoken right here, the land is concerning the people. The people are going to mourn. Why? Because of the conditions that we're in. The lying, the stealing, the killing, the committing adultery, and blood touching blood, we're in a, 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 a state of mourning. And the, our whole community all over America is filled with, with the same morning. Jump over to jump over to Isaiah chapter one verse eighteen. Read down. Isaiah chapter one verse eighteen. Read it out. Come now, 
and let us reason together. God said, but come. Come and let us reason together. Hey, you yep. know what? God is offering. He, he's bringing us to the table. He's giving up a, a, us an opportunity to come to the table together to sit down and look at our condition for an opportunity to fix what's going on in our communities. Right. He says, come, let us reason together. Read on. Saith the Lord. Come on. Though your sins be as scarlet. He says, though, is your, though your sins be as scarlet. Read. They shall be as white as snow. He said, though your sins, they're fil you are filthy right now. You are a filthy rag. We as a nation are a filthy rag. He says, we'll be white as snow. Read on. Though they be red like crimson. Though they be red like crimson. They shall be as wool. We're going to be like wool, like the pure wool, like the white pure wool that sits on our father's head. Read verse 19. Verse 19. If ye be willing. That's the key right there. He said, if ye be willing, if we be willing to come to the table and sit down and look at the sin that we're committing in, in our community, the, the, the atrocities that we're committing on each other, if we be willing to come to the table, read on. And obedient. And obedient. Come on. Ye shall eat the good of the land. Then we'll eat. The, the land will be good then. We'll be in a good state on the land then. Hey, then it ain't no... Black on black crime. Then it ain't no black on black crime. <laughs> you know what the black man say? I'm good. Forget that. Let me go smoke my one. I'm right. about to go roll this blunt up. Right. You was done with that? Yeah, yeah. I'm done with that. Hey, let me get one. Uh, go to Colossians 3 and 12. Because this right here is it, this right here to go. These are how we fix the community. We must come back to these laws and commandments. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Uh -huh. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God. Because we are the elect. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the elect That's of God. Right. Read on. Holy and beloved. Uh-huh. Bowels of mercies. Bowels of mercies. We have no mercy. That's what we just read. We have no mercy against each other or with each other. We must begin to have mercy with each other. Read. Right. Kindness. Kindness toward each other. Humbleness of mind. Humbleness of our minds toward each other. Read. Meekness. Must be meek. Being able to follow instruction. Oh, can't nobody tell me what to do. That's, that's why our neighborhood can't raise families no more. Right. Because don't nobody want nobody to tell their child or them what to do. Read. Long-suffering. Be long-suffering, patient with each other. Read. Forbearing one another. Read. And forgiving one another. If we forgive, it wouldn't even be no gangs out here. Wouldn't be no gangs. Read. And if any man have a quarrel against any, read. Even as Christ forgave you. So if you have anything against anybody, what must you do? So also do ye. So just like Officer was reading, where we come and reason with God as to why we like this, the reasons why we like this is because we don't do these right here. So how do you fix it? Here is what God is reasoning with us with. Do these different things to stop that. Read on. Verse 14. And above all these things, put on charity. Put on charity. We have no charity toward each other. Read on. Which is the bond of perfect peace. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. And let the peace of God rule in our hearts, rule in our mind. Then it ain't no crazy people running around here shooting somebody, schizophrenic, all kinds of stuff because you, you paranoid and crap. Then you would have peace of mind where that ain't what you're doing because you're doing what God says. So what are you looking over your shoulder for if you're doing the right thing? Read. To which also you are called in one body. Because we are the Israelites, we are one body. We've all been called into this one body. Read on. And be ye thankful. And be thankful because we, like, like all of us have read, we don't even deserve this chance, but God has given us an opportunity for all those things that we've been doing to be passed away. We just got to come back right. and do what he said. Right, right. Hey, give me Joshua 1 and 8. Were you in the spirit on the Lord's day? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Bring it out. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Say so we can't put this Bible down. We can't take we can't make our thoughts be continuously about sports and football and nope. women. Hey, our mind gotta get back on the following the laws of God if we wanna fix our community. Right. Right. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. We're gonna do what? Thou shalt meditate therein 
day and night. We got to commit ourselves to correcting ourselves. And this Bible is a book of laws that how we should follow and how we should love our brother, how we should treat our neighbor, how we should treat our wives, our children, how we should live. We got to meditate in this thing day and night. Right. We got to focus on it. This is just can't be something you do every Sunday. This you is don't something even you do it Sunday. It right. a, it's a false lie too. <laughs> Look, a false lie. I don't even know if that's for real. <laughs> right. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm talking about, Israel. Y'all get it. <laughs> Bruh, read it again from the top. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Read. That thou mayest observe to do. According to all that is written therein. So, so you're going to be obedient to the Most High God when you observe to do all the things that he's commanded. Read. Good. For then thou shalt make thy way, pros thy way prosperous. We're going to make our way what? Prosperous. That's how you prosper in this life. Right. That's how you succeed in this life. By trusting God's commandments. Right. By keeping his laws. You cannot be prosperous thinking that the law is done away with. What you have when the law is done away is murder, bloodshed, crime, drugs, baby mamas, baby fathers. What you have is total devastation of the black community. Right. Lawlessness. Straight lawlessness. Yeah. Read. And then thou shalt have good success. That's what we ain't used to. Good success. Look, our people don't want that success mm -hmm. because it requires change to get it. It requires the change. Woo! And this Bible is all about change. It's how to bring the black man and raise him up to be the king that he's supposed to be on this earth. Hey, our people think hitting a dang on lottery for a thousand dollars is success. Right. Hey, I hit the lottery that a thousand, they flashed a thousand dollars like like it's a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll do everything in this world. We'll play um We'll gamble, hey, we'll steal, we'll do everything to try to be successful. We'll work two, three, four jobs, and all we have to do is meditate on this Bible and do what it says. That's it. That's it. I right, people, listen, this thing is very easy. It's not hard. Matter of fact, give me uh, Sirach 6 and 32. Following this Bible, the commandments of God is not hard to do. When you hear people tell you can't nobody keep all these laws, that's somebody who's ignorant. They don't want to. They don't want to. That's yeah. what it is. They don't want to. Look, they know they just don't want to, so they don't want nobody else around them to do it. Because if they do it around, if you get somebody around somebody that don't do it and you got a person there that does keep the commandments, they can't be together. Read that. Sirach chapter 6, verse 32. Bring it out. My son, if thou wilt, Thou shalt be taught. So if you got a will in mind, you can be taught these law, statutes, and commandments. Woo. Hey, each one of us, before we came into this truth, we didn't know anything about the laws and commandments. Nope. <laughs> but guess what? We wanted to learn. We meditated. We studied. We followed the instructions as our leaders gave us. We followed it. We put our faith in this Bible. And you know what? Our lives changed for the better. Read. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, if you apply your mind, thou shalt be prudent. You'll be prudent. You'll mm -hmm. be successful. Yeah. You right. will be successful. All you have to do is trust in the most high God's commandments. And that, and that's that's what we that's that's what they fall short at. Fall falling short with that trust. They don't trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let me get a script. We done? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get first Samuel, chapter ten. In verse 6, because everything that you're going through, that you just read, is leading up to this scripture right here. It said, when we read in in, in, uh, in Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, uh, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught, and if thou apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. We've been going over this and hammering this, and we're going to be hammering it forever. It's the keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. That's, that is the key. That's going to wipe away this. That's what's going to take that crimson, that red, uh, 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 sin that we in and make it wool, make it That's white as snow. Right. Well, read uh, 1 Samuel chapter 10 and verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. That's what's going to happen when you start applying God's law, statutes, and commandments. When you start digging into these scriptures and learning how to apply these things to your life. I ain't going to hate my brother. I ain't going to shoot my brother down in the street over no color or shoot my brother down in the street or, or, or over 
uh, uh, me mo- over moving his, helping his mama move, or, or whatever that craziness was we just read. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna have that type of hatred towards your people. Read on. And thou shalt prophesy with them. Y'all shall do what? Prophesy with them. Read. And shall be turned into another man. So these scriptures are going to turn you into another man. Right. You're going to become a different person when you start applying and keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's a, that's a heavy script. That's a heavy script. Shoot, y'all done? I got me get one more. Let Don't me get hey, a little hey. bit. Got some Let me get you some. Go to, go to Isaiah 58 and uh, 9. Because this right here is what a lot of our people do. We blame other people for why we do the things that we do or why we like how we are. No, it's up to you. It's up to you. We always say, oh, well, the white man did X, Y, Z. The Arab man did X, Y, Z. It's our fault. So why don't we stop pointing the finger at everybody else and actually start fixing ourselves? And then it starts individually, and as one individual fixes themselves, it becomes a community. Read that. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 9. Then shalt thou call... And the Lord shall answer. Read. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, here I am. So this right here says, when we pray to the Lord and call on him, he'll answer us if we do what? Read. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, Uh the putting forth of the finger. The blaming other people for our problems. Right. When we stop blaming other people for our problems and then start fixing ourselves according to God, then he will say, here am I, what you want, I got you. Read on. And speaking vanity. Read. So we got to put away that evil speaking that we be doing, all this crazy rap music and crap downgrading our communities. Right. You got to put away that darn crap. Read on. And if... Thou draw out thy soul to the hungry. So we going to help those of our people that's keeping the commandments. Read. And satisfy the afflicted soul. Not turn around in the same neighborhood in the hood and go steal from the same people that got the same TV you got. Bruh. Y'all in the same hood, they being afflicted just like you afflicted. And these are the same people that we go and rob our own. Read on. So we got to stop doing that. Read. Then shalt thy light rise in obscurity. Then our light's going to be seen by everybody. Read. And thy darkness be as the noon. And that darkness that we was in, now it's going to be as though the sun is high beaming on us. And ain't nobody going to be able to stop that. Ain't nobody going to be able to stop that. And they'll start to see the changes that are within individuals that becomes a community. And can't nobody go against that. Ain't no other nation going to be able to do nothing against us when we rise up as a people. But first, we got to come back to the laws of God, man. Mm. Matter of fact, jump on down to verse 59, verse 1. Chapter 59, verse 1. Bring it out. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Hey, the Most High can do anything. Hey, that's, what, that's what they always say. Right. You know? The Most High can do anything. His hands ain't shortened that he can't save us. Read. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. He'll hear you if you stop committing sin. If you start putting your heart into trying to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, then he'll hear your sin. I mean, your prayers. Right. He'll hear your prayers. But you first got to stop the wickedness. Read. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. So your sins have put distance between you and your God. You don't realize that your sins keep you away uh, from God. Your sins keep us in, in these conditions that we're in. Right. Read. And your sins have hid his face from you. That's why we know it. That's why we had false Christ up on the board, uh, on our walls. Right. That's why we've been serving our oppressor, because we don't know God. We don't know his son. Read. That he will not hear. Read. For your hands are defiled with blood. Our hands are what? Defiled. Filed with blood. But if we're not sitting there killing one another, we're aborting our babies and right. children. Right. And we just cruel to each other, let alone what our enemy do. It's what we do to ourselves. Right. Read. And your fingers with iniquity. Our fingers of what? With iniquity. Constantly pointing at somebody else. Yep, pointing the finger back. The hell is this? this? Constantly, <laughs> listen, listen, our enemy is going to be our enemy. That's right. what he's created That's what he's for. supposed to do. But Ooh. guess what? you your own worst enemy. Our enemy ain't in our neighborhoods shooting us down. Our enemies ain't in there uh, selling us dope. We ain't in there doing that to each other. Right, and we don't want to hear, oh, well, they dropped it off. That didn't mean you had to pick it up. Right. Read. 
Your tongue, excuse me, your lips have spoken lies. What do we do? Your lips have spoken lies. I love my God. I love my people. Mm -hmm. Them lies. As long as you still in the midst of your sin, you hate God and you hate your people. Come on now, dog. Read. Your tongue has muttered perverseness. Read. None calleth for justice. Uh huh. Nor any pleadeth for truth. They don't do what? <laughs> nor any pleadeth for truth. Because they love their lies and the sin they're right. in. I'm telling you. Read. They trust in vanity. They trust in what? In vanity. You know, I'm going to tell you how you know you trust in vanity. Y'all heroes, y'all leaders, names starts like Nicki Minaj, Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne. <laughs> Them y'all heroes. That's who y'all trust in. Vanity. Lil Nas X. Oh, right. God. Oh, Read. God. And speak lies. Uh-huh. They conceive mischief. What do our people do? They conceive mischief. Uh-huh. You and know what? I'm going to come up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We out there hustling and right. doing all type of they, work. Look, and they, they, look, our people will plan to to do evil. Look, we got drug dealers that are able to to put men in order to go out here certain blocks, move certain ways to, to make sure they make a certain amount killing our people with drugs. But they can't turn around and form a business that is legit to do the same thing. Right. Doing selling something that our people need. That's that wise to do evil. That, that's that's that, that's what it says. They're conceiving mischief. Right. Mm -hmm. And we wise to do evil. We set up all type of schemes on the internet. We'll set up all type of little hustles throughout the community to get over on our people. But to actually come into this Bible, come together, study and meditate so we can come out of our conditions and make our way prosperous so we can get over off and under the foot of our enemies, we won't do that. Mm -hmm. Breathe. And bring forth iniquity. We bring forth sin. Yeah. That's there what we're go. constantly doing. We're bringing forth sin. And there's only one way we're going to change that. We got to repent and turn away from our sins. That's it. That's, That's right. It. That's it. So, hey, you're going to have to learn one single thing in this earth. If you don't repent from, and turn away from your sins, the most high God will kill you. Look at the community. He's been doing it all this time, and our people hadn't hadn't realized God is the reason all this has happened. Well, we are the reason, and he's punishing us because we haven't done what he said. Right. Ooh. Hey, matter of fact, we're gonna, this is going to be the final verse, and we're going to end it with this. Give me Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. Excuse me. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 24. Uh -huh. Woe to them that sin. It's a destruction to them that sin. Read. And keep not my commandments. Mm -hmm. Jump down to verse 26. Verse 26. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. So you ain't going to be able to hide in your sin. The most high know you. Right. Read. And therefore delivereth he them unto death. And destruction. You ain't going to be able to escape it. When the Most High say it's going to be done, it's going to be done. Read. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Uh-huh. And ye shall remain in them. We're still under these plagues. We're still up under these curses. Right. So, hey, the Most High God is letting you know that this Bible is true. Read. For God shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. So as long as you stay in your sin, you will not be delivered from it. That's it. There you go. And with that, we're going to say shalom. This has been Wartime Radio. My name is Officer Yonathan. On my left, Officer Kalaya. On my right, Officer Eitan. And our reader today, Officer Yanai. Officer Yanai, the mighty guy. That. <laughs> hey, with that, we say shalom. Most high grace bless. Most high grace bless. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861. At extension 237, share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.